first told you about 30-year-old Russell Gibson wearing a knit stocking cap in the stifling heat of summer. Nobody really knows that I have this problem except for the two or three people I've actually told. Home was the only place he would remove it. Shaving his head smooth after losing large clumps of hair, Gibson is one of 4.7 million Americans who have alopecia areata. It's a common skin disease that results in the loss of hair. But Gibson is one of 400 people who've been taking part in an experimental treatment in the Bay Area using stem cells through a clinical trial. His results at three weeks, one month, then three months. Take a look at what he looks like now. I was impressed. Results that a Bay Area doctor says may help others regardless of why they're losing their hair. We spoke with licensed physician Dr. Michael Marcoux. It's very encouraging. Uh, where it's, it works great in patients who are starting to thin, men and women. Marcoux practices family medicine and specializes in medical and surgical hair restoration. He says the treatment is safe, uses your own blood, and is already being used to treat other things. We're using it a lot in orthopedic medicine and injections. Uh, a lot of athletes have had this done. It's been used for years in wound healing. The treatment is rather simple. When we draw the blood, we isolate the platelets, which have what we call growth factors in them. Um, and when we inject these into the scalp, what they do is they, they actually trigger the stem cells of the hair follicle to either thicken or to reproduce. Dr. Marcoux works in conjunction with John Satino, who started losing his own hair back in the 60s. Now he's the clinical director at the Hair and Scalp Clinic and says not everyone is a good candidate. Men or women that are totally bald or have been bald for many years, there's no live hair follicles, so growth factors or stem cells or dynamite isn't going to grow hair in an area where there's nothing there to work with. Which they thought was the case with Stan DeFritis in his 50s, known that. as Mr. Green Thumb in his yeah, neighborhood. Green That's an actual tomato. Oh, it is? Yeah. Hi, I'm Stan DeFritis, Mr. Green Thumb. And on TV as well. Hair transplants helped him achieve this look, but now he's seeing some moderate hair growth, all as a part of the clinical trial. And so far, I, I think I see some results, so I'm positive that it's, that I think it's helpful. It's the next uh, area in medicine that we're turning to is cellular medicine, cellular therapy, uh, platelets, growth factors, uh, body's own ability to heal itself, something we were taught years back in medical school and now we're finally practicing. It's exciting. In Clearwater, Tammy Fields, 10 Connects.